Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Space Hulk Tactics with Zebu Nation. And today we're getting ready to do our third mission with the Blood Angel Terminators going through this massive Space Hulk. Let's see what we can do, see what we can figure out here in this third mission. This is a little bit tricky, a little bit different because we got a bunch of doors, we got a bunch of teleporters, some things we've never seen before. Let's see if we can figure it out. Now the good news is that I've tested it out a little bit and the scanner is actually doing something useful for a change. Let's hit the scanner here and as you can see the little blue wavy things there, little uh, triangles or whatever they are, they're the teleporter pads. They're probably Eldari in nature but anyway they're, they're still active within this space hulk and when we do the scanner we can see where those teleporters lead. As you can see, they're color-coded. Blue to blue, red to red, green to green, yellow to yellow. So that helps us out a little bit in terms of navigating. Now we need to get down here to this unknown life form. Um, so that means we're going to have to get over here to get this key and unlock the door. So I think I see a path through here that we could probably go through without finding much in the way of combat. I think we can get around all the combat again if we want to. Uh, is that what we want to do? I don't know. It seems like the prudent thing to do. So we'll figure that out as we get there. But first I want to take a look at squad management. We got a lot of components. Let's see what we can do with those components. So we can upgrade cards. Got you know, 1,000 there, got 800 there, 400 point upgrade right there. <clears throat> that might not be the worst thing to do because we got a lot of these plus two to the next melee cards. You can also upgrade the ignition chamber, plus one on your next shot for these guys. A couple of different options there. Let's see what else we got. Weapons, I don't think we can upgrade any of our weapons. We got all the chain fists we can possibly use. Assault cannon. Still can't buy an assault cannon. I don't know what we do here. But anyway, and then finally, we have some modules. Look at this. We got sustained fire for the heavy gunner, which gives a plus two to sustained fire instead of a plus one. So when you're standing still, you get a plus two to hit. That's pretty good. Or steady aim, plus one to all shots against interactive objects. So I guess that's like doors and and uh, rubble and stuff. Uh, but then there's door buster, plus one to shots just against doors. So I don't know if this one works against doors and rubble. I mean, that, that symbol looks kind of like a door symbol. I don't know. I don't know, but I kind of like the sustained fire. So that's 800. You know, that'll give us like 770 left if we uh, if we buy this. So that's enough to upgrade a card as well. So yeah, let's do that. We'll buy the sustained fire for 800. Okay, there we go. All right, so that's equipped. Good job. Now, let's go back to one of these other dudes. Go back to their cards. Upgrade one of these plus two to the next melee cards and see what we get. Plus two on his next shot or plus three in the next melee for zero CP. Let's go with the plus two for the next shot. Give us a little bit more shot bonuses out there because we do a lot more shooting than melee combat. So there we go. We've upgraded our squad a little bit. Good job. Now let's get on the move here. Something here. There's a clue. An Eldari portal. If we pass through it, there's no telling where we might appear. Well, I mean, there is because we got the scanner, and the scanner says we're going to go right there. So let's go to the active porter, teleporter. Put us there. There are some gene stealers there. There's possible gene stealers here, but they're not awake yet. So each time we move, they're going to get a little bit more awake, a little bit more alert to our present. 
What is this, Brother Sergeant? Do you note those marks? I've never seen the like before. What kind of creature is this Eldari wreck hiding? Hmm. So we've seen some scrapes along the walls from some new sort of talon. So I think what we want to do is go up through the yellow portal and then down through the blue portal to get us to this key right here. And that'll unlock the door. And then we'll be past these guys. So we don't even have to deal with those guys. You know, and then we can come down here and, and you know, it seems pretty easy. Now, the other thing we could do is go up and get a bunch of those, those treasures up there. That might not be the worst idea. So let's... Let's give this a shot. Gene Steeler's incoming. We'll move off of there. So as you can see, the Gene Steelers are still still hibernating. Brother Sergeant, we found the bodies of our former comrades. Whatever attacked them, it may have been no ordinary Gene Steeler. I feel it is still present in the vicinity. Should we examine their bodies? Wait, can you hear that? Is that one of them? So keep moving, there's no time. We'll pick up a defensive posture module for Brother Madriel. Or retrieve the Terminator ar armor and honors, yes. I mean, you can't leave Terminator armor lying around. These are like ancient relics. We can't just, yeah, if we got the opportunity to recover it, plus we might get the gene seed out of it. So, yeah, we need to do that. Order a brother to stand his ground. So, yes, we can order our apothecary to stand his ground, take the gene seed, teleport the armor back to the ship. That seems yes, what, like what we'll do. So there we go. Retrieve the Terminator armor and honor it. There we go. There we are. So we've left a dude there. That's fine. Still, those Terminators haven't, or those Gene Stealers haven't woken up. And even if they do, it doesn't matter. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six before they get woken up. So if we go this way to this teleporter, one, two, three, four, I mean, we'll be gone before they wake up. We could go up this way. And take all of this stuff up here. Oh, we can't get back to that teleporter, though. Because that door is locked. So if we go up here, we would have to get both of these keys. Just go this way, get that key. And by that time, who knows, these guys might have been w woken up. So I don't know if it's worth it. Unless you... Eh, let's let's do it anyway. Let's Let's have some fun. Get in some more battles. We've barely gotten into any battles lately. So. Hundred and fifty components. That's pretty good. Apothecary is ready for the he's unavailable for the next mission. That's no good. Alright, so the gene stealers are going to wake up with our next movement. Auspex device reads multiple life forms ahead. Seek out and purge the Xenos. So there they are. They've blocked off that route, but I haven't planned on going back there. So now these guys are starting to get active. They'll be active in four moves. So we're going to have to fight one of those guys. You see... Auspex devices, yes, Xenos up ahead, so it activated both of them. So we're going to have to fight through both of these guys now. That could be a little tricky. Ah, I hit the button too quickly. Oh. I don't know what I did, but I hit the button too quickly. All right, so a group of gene stealers suddenly emerged. So we only have to fight one of them. That's better. All right, so activate all marked consoles and extract three units. So we only need to get three of our guys out of here. But look at those those three yellow dots we got to get to are pretty far away. That's going to be tough. I don't know where the extraction point is 
either. Don't know what those green things represent. Are those teleporters? Are those gene stealers? Are those who knows what? So this is going to be difficult. It's been a while since I played this game, too. It's been like a week. Whoops. Let's get out of here. Um, so we don't need Brother Ariel. Is he our only choice? But yeah, we're, we're missing a br two brothers. Okay. Interesting. I know why we're missing the apothecary, but why are we missing the other dude, the other assault guy? I don't know, but we got a full squad, so I guess we'll go. Got a heavy weapons guy without a heavy weapon. Maybe we can find him a plasma cannon or something. I don't know. Melt a gun. I don't think they have melted guns in this uh, in this game, at least not yet. DLC coming soon. Meltas and flamas. We shall see. I, you know, I can't confirm that. Obviously, I don't know anything about if they're even going to have DLC. I don't know how well this game is sold. It's it's a it's a good game. I like it, but it might not be everybody's cup of tea. So okay, so the green. We're definitely gene stealers. It's also portals everywhere. It's a quick portal here. Don't know where it goes to though. Other than trouble. Boy, this is This is a really difficult map. With teleporters and gene stealers everywhere and three different places we need to go. Oof, this is going to be very tough. Alright, let's get started here. Put the sergeant there. Um, let's see, let's put... Heavy weapons bear there. Uh, regular assault marine there. Likewise, assault marine there. And the other, the other heavy weapons bear right there. All right, let's go. So right away, there's going to be a ton of gene stealers in our face. Look at this. Guy right there. Oof. All right, I don't like any of this. In the name of the Umbra. In the name of the Umbra. <sighs> oh, boy. What cards do we have here? Plus two next melee, plus two next melee, plus one next shot. Not great cards. I mean, like, we could move out four. Three. Over what you all right all right we're gonna have to take it a little slow I think then uh... yeah, yeah 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 okay okay stop that stop that whatever you're doing stop that all right overwatch then we're gonna have to use all our points up here and then use a card to put him on overwatch and everybody else is just gonna have to do whatever it is they can do convert that card Put him on Overwatch. Okay. 
I don't I don't know that slow playing it is the best way to do it. But I can't see any other way of doing this. Let them come. Uh, let's see. Uh, might as well use these cards because we don't, don't really like these cards. Give him plus two on his next melee just in case they get to him. And then I'm all out of CPs. So end that turn. See what happens. Right now they're just loading up on blips. They haven't released any blips yet. So I'm scared about that. What cards do we got here? Plus one next shot. Next melee is a success. Ugh. Ugh. I'm going to try to get him as far away as we can. Oh, this is going to be terrible. I am moving. Okay, so now we put everybody on Overwatch and whatnot. I'm going to convert this card to give us three extra command, or not command points, but three extra movement points. Um, I think that was going to just let me turn around. Turn around. Oh, and I thought I could go on guard with that. I thought... No. I cannot. Okay, that's not good. But at least it gets me painting, pointing forward. Did I not convert that card? I don't know. Here comes the gene steal to kill my sergeant. No, oh, what'd he do? I don't think he was ready for that. Oh, they're trying to go through that teleporter over there on the left. They just got mowed to pieces. Okay. This is good. I don't... Can I kill these Gene Stealer nodes? I've never tried before. But it seems like it would be a thing that you could do, right? So the sergeant can shoot this guy from here. What do we got in terms of cards? Plus one on your next shot, plus one next shot. Next melee is a success. Two command points, though. I don't think I'm actually in melee range for this guy. And I want to keep the sergeant going this way. Got a lot of things I need to do on this turn. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. I 
think we gotta just... I think we gotta go for the gold here. I'm gonna try to kill the gene stealer with this guy. And then kill this down here with the sergeant. So we're going to be able to take two shots at this guy. Going to use this. Play one card. Plus one on your next shot. Missed. Okay. Try again. Plus one on your next shot. Okay. Try again. There we go. Only took two shots. Won't let me shoot. What happens if I just move here? I guess I've shut down their blips. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, this might be terrible. So, we're going to... Convert that card. Okay. Vigilance Brother. Likewise, over here, we can continue with this action. Do all kinds of craziness over here. This is just, this is just, just not good. Just terrible. All right. Boys, we are in a little bit of trouble here, I think. We're getting too boxed in. We're too slow. I should have made a move for this, but we'll see. Maybe patience is a virtue. Let's see. Okay, so here comes... Oh, no! Okay, we're going to have to do something about that. I didn't even figure a blip coming from that direction. But... Good news is we have stymied this here. So that is good. Which means we can move this guy out. Just like... Let's go. I'm happy to have him do whatever it is we need to do. Now, meanwhile, this Joker, what kind of cards do we got here? Heavy Weapon Bearer, plus three on your next melee, plus one on your next shot. Okay. We need to figure out what to do with this guy. I think we turn him to face, take a shot at the door. Open up the door. Reveal that blip. That blip is empty. An empty threat of a blip. Okay. Cur, 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 cur. Um... Move up, and then we'll use the card to give him uh, Overwatch. Don't need it just yet. Four ball. This guy can Overwatch. This guy can Overwatch. We are just like Overwatch kings right now. 
And then we'll use our card here. Um, plus one next shot. Plus one next shot or plus three next melee for zero CP. Let's convert that. Give this guy an overwatch. So the only worry we have now is if somebody makes it through one of these teleporters and attacks this guy, but I don't I don't see that that's very likely. So we shall end it there. See what happens. Here comes somebody they're going to get. No, they're going to stop there. Pile up. Okay. That's fine. I wish I had a librarian so we could melt those dudes' faces, but I guess not. All right, let's open the door. I don't know where that teleporter goes. So that could be an issue. Why can't I get onto that? Does my um, sergeant need to be the one at that to do all the junction stuff? That would be very disappointing if that was the case. Maybe I don't need to step directly on it. Maybe I just need to be next to it. Hmm. That doesn't look good. Okay. Let's... Let's think about it. Let's do some tactical movements here just in case. Vigilance brother. We're going to keep him here. Okay. I don't know. I got got bad feelings about this. What sort of cards do we got here? Plus three next melee. Plus two, two, two. Plus two next shot. I don't know if plus two next shot counts for Overwatch or not, but we're gonna end it there. See what happens. See what these blips do. One of them turned into a gene stealer. Oh, he smashed him with the power glove. Power fist. And he gets murdered. Okay. But the gene stealer died as well. Don't understand how that happens. But anyway, we still got three guys we need to get out of here. We got four left. Here, my thirst. Interaction. Done. All right. So that's good, I guess. Go through a teleporter? Is that a smart idea? I don't know. I don't want to close that door. That's for sure. Okay, 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 okay. Wait a minute, 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 wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right. So I'm going to shoot this door. Open it up. Now we can move this guy here. Yes, brother. And he can overwatch. Now. Now, 
You can't do anything. All right. I was hoping I could, uh, I was hoping I could shut this portal down, but I don't think I can. I don't know. It's going to be a big problem for us no matter what. Alright, play a card. Let's see what we can do here. Terminator gets plus three Nick Melee. Uh, plus two next shot. Convert that card. Still didn't work. We can't can't turn around and use Overwatch. I don't know. All right, let's see if we die here. Yep, Gene Stealer did pop out. Oh, he just popped out, but he didn't do anything. All right, so let's take a few shots at this guy since he's just sitting there. Let's use a card. Got one. We got four CPs available. Give a plus two to our sergeant. Let him take a couple of shots. He did. All right. He did. I don't know if I could if I should do that. Can I lock this door? Is there a way to like lock the door? I thought there was a way to lock doors, but I, maybe that's just certain people who can lock the doors. It's gonna creep creep forward. Now how do I uh, how do I use the warp tunnel? Oh, well, it brings me out over here. Neat. Neato burrito. You can double Overwatch over here. This is cool. All right, I enjoyed that. That was fun. Now, um, let's convert a card and put our sergeant on guard. <sighs> Gene Steeler came out of the door, just stood there. Interesting stuff going on here. Lots of interesting stuff. Okay. So the cards we got here, plus two next shot. Next melee attack is a success. We're playing that card. You know who we're playing that on. Oh, not you, not you. The sergeant. So we're going to melee attack this guy. Get stabbed. Nice. 
And there's a second one. All right, not good. We still have two CPs left, though. We got plus two on the next shot. So play that. Again, on the sergeant. And he will take a shot at this guy. And he missed. Two action points left. So I can either take two more shots or go on Overwatch. Maybe do both. I don't know. We'll get back to him. This guy slowly making his way downtown. And then he's going to overwatch. So this guy gets a free shot after he moves. Gene Steeler popped out. I'm just going to slowly back up. And he somehow missed. So we're going to shoot again. There we go. That was good. Now, um, comes down to this guy here. Do we take two shots? Do we overwatch? I think overwatch. He's got four AP. He's going to overwatch. Then we will convert this card so that, guess what? We can overwatch this guy. I think we got one CP left, so we might be able to take a shot. Yeah, we can take a shot with this guy. Yeah, look at that. Four Sanguinius, absolutely. Just looks like we should be able to shoot that, you know what I'm saying? The little squidgy whatever that is that's creating the Gene Steelers. Anyway, let's go. This is a long mission. This is a long one. Ah, uh, oh, we lost another guy over here on the left. No, that's the end of the mission. Failed our first mission. Man, that was a tough one. Failure. Activate two consoles. Did not. We only lasted three turns. Ouch. But. <laughs> but we get to move on. Did that do anything to our squad? Like, are our guys not available for the next mission or something? And they're not dead. And they're still here. Nope. You just get to keep on moving. All right. So we'll figure out what to do next in the next episode. But for now, that'll do it for this episode. Until then, until later. See you. Bye. Whatever. Get out of here. <laughs>